evening everyone welcome to Mel TV and um, this video series is all about how to stop comfort eating or binge eating or try to minimize the temptations to do that and if you want to do something like stop comfort eating or using food to use any other reason than eating for hunger then yes you using your mind and working in your mind is the number one most important thing you need to to work on before even contemplating on dieting or and um, I don't even approve of dieting anyway and if you've been watching my videos for a while I can't stand any dieting macro measuring, calorie counting, fat counting, carbs counting, gluten free and all that, that shenanigan. Reason being is because of my past experience we had been over obsessive over dieting it really fuels the mentality so what I will be talking about all the time with uh, my videos, all my videos is everything that is to do with having a good relationship with your eating habits without dieting. So without further ado, um, oh, before that, if you've not seen me before, I am Mel, hello, and I am a, oh, rapid transformational therapist, and I help people with weight loss and eating disorders, and I use a combination of RTT, rapid transformational therapy which uses hypnotherapy and various other specific tools to get to the root cause of the reasons why people are unable to lose weight or stick to a diet or really anything that is blocking them from their desired goals and in combination with my 20 over 22 years of eating disorder personal um, experience in eating disorders and obsession with health and diets I'm able to combine a package with RTT and coaching to make sure that my clients get all the support they need with their new beautiful mind frame so without further ado um, I'm not really going to talk like I said I don't really want to talk about what I had planned tonight because the last four or five days I'd been away on a trip with family. We had like an emergency to go away from where we live and um, I took all my running gear and everything to go with me. I usually go running at least the recommended amount of time which, which is universal through all the health and nutrition website, the WHO World Health Organization and recommends to do every day for 20 minutes or at least five times a week of medium exercise, fast walking, just to get the heart pumping. So I've been running for, you know, quite a long time now, um, on and off for years, but it's only really been the last year or so where I've literally not allowed myself to fall back into the old habit of not fitting exercise in my daily regime. And um, I'm going to talk about that in more details about how to get motivated to do exercise in another part of these series. But today, all I want to share with you is how I felt not doing any exercise for five days. I didn't go for a run for five days and I usually go about five or six times a week, minimum four times a week. And, uh, and I didn't go for five days because and there's really one main reason for it is because I didn't really like the area that we were staying in. It was really rough. Um, I didn't feel safe. Uh, it was in the main city. And I mean, I've been running in London before and I was I felt fine. But where we are, it just didn't feel safe for me to go. So I didn't go for five days. And if you've suffered from um, an eating disorder long or 
any kind of unhealthy relationships to food, you'll probably relate with me when it comes to our emotions. Our emotions are main driver for the reasons why we end up grabbing for food to comfort ourselves. When I didn't go running for five days, not only did my emotions started feeling a bit like really weird and wonky and even though I spent, you know, I am almost eight or nine years clear of eating disorder and I know I will never ever have an eating disorder again and all the tools that I have shared so far are all the tools that I used not just a single thing, all of them in combination helped me stop my eating disorder literally just overnight like that. So if you are struggling and you want to find out a way to stop your binge eating or eating disorder or stop dieting, I suggest just go back and try to implement as many of the tools that I've shown you. So I didn't exercise for five days and I'm always usually quite religious and going. And I started feeling really anxious. The anxiety started coming back, even though it's not as powerful as I used to have before. And um, when you have an eating disorder, unfortunately, when you keep grabbing for food to comfort yourself, it's only putting fuel to the fire. So you, if you're anxious, grabbing food might make you happy for literally those precious moments while you're eating. And you might even feel a kind of a relief after you get rid of it by over-exercise, whatever techniques you're doing, dieting, it just, in the long run, it makes you even more miserable. So you're kind of caught in this vicious cycle. So, but luckily enough for me, I don't go for food now when I'm anxious. I literally have to, like, ride the wave. <laughs> And you probably have heard that terminology before because I did a whole video on riding the wave. It's such a powerful tool and it was actually the one that stopped my eating disorder. Like literally the tool that completely stopped it. Amongst all the other ones, this one was the most powerful. So, so literally when I'm feeling anxiety now, I kind of have to grim it and bear it. So that was the first thing. My emotions were driving nuts. Um, the second thing was um, I was feeling so tired. So when I don't go running or do any vigorous, not vigorous exercise, I'm talking about really pleasant, you know, I'm not one of these people that really likes circuit kind of train, really, really, really hard things like that. Even Zumba's too hard for me. But really whatever makes you happy if you like that kind of stuff but for me I like to do running because it's relaxing but it's enough for me to to feel that motivation it really clears my head I have done a whole video on all the benefits of doing exercises as well but all I'm sharing with you tonight is all these things I felt as a result of not doing exercise on a daily or every other day and this will tremendously impact your emotions if you're suffering from problems relationship problems with your food and if you haven't got problems with food it's going to sound really bizarre but you know if you're watching and you have issues with food you will know what I'm talking about so that's the second thing with my running I just felt really emotional tired super super tired even though I went to bed earlier than I usually normally would go to bed I felt tired I stayed in bed in the morning longer than I should and I felt even more tired so it was like really really a vicious cycle I had no motivation to to eat properly as well I just like felt really sluggish and um, so yeah so it just wasn't really great and another thing as well I wanted to add one more to this video is and a final tip so that you can walk away with something today I'm not just like having a moan about what's happened when I don't exercise because I'm, I'm going to do a whole um, series on how to get yourself motivated with exercises later in this video series but now I just wanted to share with you 
how I felt. But just to finish this video off, one tip that you can do to also help with your emotions uh, and then in as a result the pull to eat when you're not hungry will also be less if you have enough sleep and I know it sounds really what basic even though I was having longer sleep I did notice that the one night that my daughter she had a really really awful cough and I was up literally all night and I had about three hours sleep and I noticed the next day I was so grumpy I mean literally I could rip someone's head off I was so grumpy and even though I was like wanting to to be present and um, be a nice person I was just so grouchy and it just reminded me all the times that I didn't get enough sleep and I know when you're suffering from like again like this is why I'm here for helping people with their relationships with food, who wants to stop dieting, who wants to stop that vicious cycle of binging and whatever unhealthy relationships you have with food. If you're not getting enough sleep, it's fueling again, you know, this this urge to want to grab for something to comfort you, whether it's a packet of crisps, a cake or a cookie. If you're not feeling good, inside your willpower or like a, you know i you know if you've seen watch me for a while like willpower doesn't work anyway but your strength to try and avoid these foods are going to be so weak so not getting enough sleep is just like you're setting yourself up for even more um challenges really so that's my two things so I just wanted to share with you how rubbish I really felt not doing my exercises and if you haven't incorporated exercising in your week at least at least a minimum of four times a week and it doesn't have to be long I will be sharing with you soon about ways to motivate yourself and I, I've done some videos before about exercising and all you need to start off with if you've not done any exercises is 15 minutes a day literally and I always advise doing 15 15 minutes a day is better than doing one hour once a week you know or one hour like um twice a week it's uh it's it's better to do it more often but I will go into the reasons why in another video but tonight I just wanted to share the feelings I had because it's very raw um, of not exercising just for the five days and I've been exercising like constantly for about a year after I had my knee injury and then also to say how important sleep is to your emotions and it is advised in in lots of medical books minimum I think it's like a really good it's like if you either have too much sleep it's not good for you they did, did some tests on people who lived longer and lived the shortest and people who had the optimum of seven hours and then it said like if you have more um, it doesn't you either like don't live as long but seven hours is a good good amount of hours to sleep i try to get seven hours i have to admit that i usually get six hours but you know i try to aim for seven and then as long as it's like you know uninterrupted sleep as well you're good to go so yes so tonight was a little bit spontaneous and um, i hope it all made sense in the end so i just hope you can just walk away with considering if you're not started exercising yet considering incorporating some kind of exercise speed walking is enough exercise doesn't mean joining a zumba joining a super awful like these gyms and if you're feeling especially if you've not done it before feeling paranoid like you know feel that like peer pressure of going to the gym with other, all these other freaks you know going like on their treadmill for hours on end don't even have to do that literally just get your stuff on 15 minutes a day to start off with just speed walking just enough for the oxygen and you you know your blood to circulate around your body just to begin with and you're fine that was easier to do it like that um more often than just leaving it once a week and putting yourself through all that pain and also 
getting enough sleep really honestly it's not complicated get enough sleep and you'll find that you'll do a lot of things better including resisting those foods that are just not nourishing your body and i hope you have a lovely evening and i'll see you tomorrow